Hey, welcome today for our daily dose as we continue to partner together and going to the Word of God for encouragement and exhortation. And I just pray today that you would be blessed from the Word of God as we share a scripture out of Colossians chapter 2 in a moment that I believe will forever change your view of your purpose, your mission, and how you live if you allow this to sink into your spirit. But before I do, I want to share with you a story that that happened this last August as I took my kids school shopping. My wife and I kind of uh, prepared a plan that was different than any year previous. And my daughter was going into the first year of high school. My son is a junior in high school. And uh, we thought this year, instead of going with them and purchasing their supplies and their clothing items and what they felt they needed, we were going to give them an allocation of money and they would have to purpose that money to how they saw fit for their needs. And Boy, how interesting it is. You have two children and they couldn't be more polar opposite than when you give them an amount of money and say, go spend on what you think you need. And here's how this played out with my children. My son is kind of a, 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 a miser, if you will, a saver. He's, he's going to let you buy anything you can for him. And my daughter, she didn't fully understand money yet. And they both knew they needed shoes for school. And so my daughter had to have the trendy, the in, the... The, the fit, as you would call them, I think that's what you call them, the fit shoes, and she bought Air Force Ones, and they were, they were sleek, they were sharp, they looked good. It didn't matter how much they cost because you looked good in them. And my son, he went the other approach. He took the same amount of money, and he purchased three pairs of shoes, one that was a buy one, get one uh, half off, and then he bought a third pair of shoes with the quantity and sum of money. And it's interesting how the two of them saw their money being used. However, the even more interesting thing is in America and in our world that we live, uh, we put a lot of credibility and fashion upon what's on our feet. However, I'd encourage you with this, as we put uh, what's on our feet with great value, God positions where our feet are with greater value. What's underneath our feet? How are we standing? And there's a scripture that talks about that the enemy is under our feet. And I encourage you today, that no matter what you're facing, you have authority to overcome the enemy. You have the power to overcome the opposition of the enemy of your soul and your mission and your purpose. And I encourage you today, it's not about what's on your feet, but what's position or who's position under your feet. Perhaps today you're facing shame or guilt, hurt, wound, fear, anxiety. Your victory today is overcoming those things, not with just thinking you have authority, but knowing you have the authority with the enemy under your feet. How do we know that? Colossians chapter 2 tells us this, that says that Jesus disarmed the enemy, his adversary, and made a public humiliation of him above all the spiritual rulers at that time. Well, what is it speaking to? When Jesus died on the cross and he laid his life down, a ransom for me and you, he gave us the privilege to be reconciled back to a holy God by dying so we could be forgiven. It says that in those days that he was in the tomb physically, he was combating the enemy spiritually. And it says that he took away, he stripped him of his authority. It's a military term in Colossians that means this, that Jesus literally stripped the rank, the, the rank off of the chest or the rank off of the shoulder, stripped him publicly in the middle of all of his minions and all of his people that he had authority over to declare over them, he no longer has the ability to rule and reign. Jesus has overcome. Today, you're an overcomer. And whatever the enemy has tried to strip you of, joy, peace, hope, I'm here to tell you today that Jesus has stripped him of all of that authority and you have the victory. You're more than a conqueror. We're praying that you walk in victory today share it with someone else, and walk in the confidence of the position you have. The enemy is under your feet. We love you. We're praying for you. Have a blessed day.